wine service. The purpose of this task is to present, open and serve still wine that does not require decanting. Listen carefully to the order given by the organizer since it might not be repeated. In a competition setting, all sommeliers should be prepared for some alternative or challenging scenarios to test their skills. Communicate with the guests. Who is the host? Would they like food recommendations, etc. Good evening, you're very welcome. My name is Julie, I will be your sommelier tonight. I believe you ordered a bottle of Rias Baixas, Passo das Bruxas 2020. Yes, thank you. Make sure it is the correct bottle, checking the temperature. Sommeliers should be familiar with all types of closures. Presenting the wine to the host, state the wine, vintage, producer, appellation and country name where applicable. This should be done from the side that causes the least disturbance to the guest. The host needs to confirm. Thank you very much. Treat the bottle gently at all times. When serving a youthful wine, as in this case, decanting is not necessary. There will be none or very little sediment in the wine. The same applies for the aeration. In this case, the wine is good to be poured directly from the bottle. It is important to choose the correct glassware and to ensure that they are clean and not chipped. Always use a tray when transporting glasses. Put down the glasses with the logotype facing the guests and in a consistent manner for all the guests around the table. The following details should be arranged on the workstation, the bottle of wine, a coaster for the bottle, a coaster for the cork, and a tasting glass. If the bottle is closed with a Vinolock, Zork or a Stelvin capsule, you only need one coaster if the customer does not require to see it. There should be a minimal number of trips between the station and the Guéridon. If it is a bottle with foil, then cut it in a tidy manner below the bottle's bottom rim. Place the foil in your pocket. If it is a bottle with a cork, always make sure to wipe the bottleneck and cork surface, avoiding dirt or other particles entering the wine. The bottle should not move during this process. Make as little noise as possible while extracting the cork. The cork should be extracted without any particles entering the wine. If it is a Stelvin closure, lift up the bottle, turn the bottle and the Stelvin capsule in reverse directions in order to be able to remove the capsule, always making sure that the label is facing the guests. For vino lock or zor closure, remove the top using two hands while the bottle is standing on a coaster with the label facing the guests. The use of a napkin is optional when handling the cork. If opening a bottle with cork, check the cork and then make sure that the host can also inspect the cork. Always make sure to use a napkin when wiping off surfaces. Ask the host's permission before sampling their wine. The tasting sample should be no more than 20 to 30 milliliters. If the wine is 40, Ask the host if he or she would like a new bottle. May I check the wine, sir? Yes, please. The wine is in perfect condition. Put the tasting glass in a position where it is not in your way when working at the station. In general, service should be conducted in a clockwise manner from the right of the guest. If applicable to the situation, Local service customs can apply, but clear instructions will be given to the sommelier at the start of the service. For example, ladies before gentlemen. The sommelier should serve in an open-handed service method. This means that if the sommelier is pouring from the left side of the guest, they should also use the left hand. Pour a tasting sample of 20 to 30 milliliters of wine for the host to assess the condition. Ensure that a napkin is used after every pour. Wait for the host's approval before serving the other guests the wine. Yes, please. Pour the guests in an even and a consistent manner without any spills. Each glass should contain a consistent amount close to regular pouring size, approximately 80 to 150 milliliters, based on the size of glassware and the number of guests. Pour no more than twice per glass. The host is always the last guest to be poured. Ask if the host wants to keep the bottle on the table if it is red wine. Would you like me to leave the bottle on the table for you? Yes, please. For white or rosé wine, ask if the host wants to keep it chilled on ice close to the table. If the host declines the offer of having the bottle on the table, ensure to put the bottle within the sight of the guests. Make sure to ask the host for permission before removing the cork from the table. May I clear the cork for you? Yes, please. Thank you. Tidy your workstation, always using a tray. Put back all the details where they belong at the mise en place. 
make sure to let the guests know that you are at service if anything else is needed. 